The White House has introduced a new plan to put nutrition labels on the front instead of the back. So to give you an idea of the overall health of Americans, we're too lazy to do this. <laughs> After trying for several years, the New York City Commission voted to remove a statue of Thomas Jefferson from City Hall. They were finally able to remove it by telling the statue there was a hot black lady outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, the... <laughs> Woof. Residents in Rome are upset after a wild boar and her six piglets were killed on a playground near the Vatican. But it's like they say, nothing good ever happens on a playground near the Vatican. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this week there was a full moon known as the beaver moon, which can be seen about a month after a waxing moon. <laughs> That's a good joke. That's a good one. Starbucks has launched a new eco-friendly program called Borrow a Cup, in which customers return their cup after finishing their drink so the store can use it again. And Dunkin' Donuts plans to compete with this promotion by not doing that. <laughs> the, house, the house where Lizzie Borden murdered her parents has been sold for $2 million and will be turned into a bed and breakfast. Though a bed and breakfast where a murder happened is pretty much just a day's in. Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> a group of researchers are trying to determine why humans have a desire to feed other animals such as birds and squirrels. But if I had to guess, it's probably because their wife passed away. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that'd make you laugh. <laughs> During a White House ceremony, President Biden wished Kamala Harris a happy birthday, then accidentally called her a great president. <laughs> Even worse, he was talking to a portrait of Michelle Obama. Orthodox Jewish leaders in New York City lashed out at a newly imposed coronavirus restriction in their neighborhoods by setting fires and burning masks. And it's a miracle because the mask burned for eight nights. <laughs> That's a good one. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Firefighters in Florida rescued a horse that fell into a septic tank and was nearly submerged in raw sewage. A horse submerged in raw sewage is also known as an Arby's beef and cheddar. Arby's. We eat the horse. In the wake of the R. Kelly verdict, there is a growing movement online to force music streaming services to remove his music. I mean, after all, streaming is basically what got him in trouble in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> a statue of George Floyd on display in a New York City park was defaced for the second time. Police are searching for the suspect and are planning to serve him with a job application. <laughs> A woman in Taiwan who thought her boyfriend was cheating cut off his penis and flushed it down the toilet. I'm sorry, thought he was cheating? <laughs> South Carolina lawmakers voted to add firing squad to his execution methods. And I think it's nice that people will finally get the chance to be shot after they're found guilty. <laughs> a woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14 pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. It's a mad joke. I'm surprised you guys will get it. Oh my God. Uh, a new study shows that the COVID vaccine does not cause infertility in men or women. Damn it, why did I get this? A professional golfer in Florida was arrested after he tried to meet a 15 year old girl he met online who turned out to be a detective, said the golfer, Mulligan? <laughs> Come on, man. Sadly, there's more. <laughs> For those of you wondering, in golf terms, a 15-year-old is three under par. A new study finds that despite women making less money than men, more single women in the U.S. own homes than single men, thanks to a phenomenon economists call divorce. <laughs> Not 
Doctors in Iowa have confirmed a dog disease that can be passed on to humans. Fine, I'll wear a condom. <laughs> For the first time ever, two brothers will be facing off against each other in the Super Bowl. Incidentally, two brothers in the Super Bowl is why my grandfather won't be watching. <laughs> On February, man, wow. <laughs> Mental health experts are now recommending that children start being screened for anxiety when they are eight years old, because it can be pretty stressful down at that old iPhone factory. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlife officials in Tennessee have captured a 500-pound black bear living on a college campus. A black bear that, let's face it, took the spot of more deserving white and Asian bears. <laughs> Elon Musk offered to buy Twitter for over $40 billion so he can loosen its free speech rules. That's how badly white guys want to use the N-word. <laughs> A New Jersey man was arrested after he ran over a woman multiple times in a road rage incident. Said the woman, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a 220-carat diamond known as The Rock will become the largest white diamond ever auctioned off. Wow, 220 carats. I mean, can you imagine the size of the child who mined that? <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> a substitute teacher in North Carolina has resigned after she reportedly told a class of elementary students that Martin Luther King Jr. killed himself. In her defense, he is the one who decided to keep running his mouth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I want to switch it up a little. Che didn't write this one. This is all me. <laughs> I want to hear this. Last week was National Rosa Parks Day, or as we call it in my house, Uppity Bus Passenger Day. <laughs> Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> Mel Gibson is reportedly in talks to direct a new Lethal Weapon movie. But if you want to see a broken down black guy team up with a handsome racist, just watch Weekend Update. <laughs> A growing number of NFL players are filling up their, their off time by playing chess with each other. And also, let's see here, domestic violence. <laughs> That's how they're spending their time, Colin. This week, Britain's most eligible bachelor, Prince Andrew, <laughs> officially deleted his Twitter account after he realized that's not the app with all the dancing teenagers. <laughs> has introduced pumpkin spice scented trash bags, and I gotta say, pumpkin spice scented trash bags is probably the best slur for white people I've ever heard. <laughs> Percy, after it allowed users to talk with Jesus and Hitler, and one guy who thinks he's both. <laughs> this is just news, guys. Wednesday was National Coffee with a Cop Day. And something tells me cops like their coffee black with a couple of shots in it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> New York City is now requiring employers to disclose salary ranges in all job listings. Employers must list everything ranging from the top salary all the way down to the female salary. <laughs> A new report finds that as people move into formerly wild areas of Africa, human activity is disrupting chimpanzee culture. Incidentally, chimpanzee culture is also what my grandpa calls hip-hop. Why? <laughs> oh, 
I wouldn't have said that. A student in Texas who is nicknamed White Lightning set a high school record by running the 100 meter dash in 9.98 seconds. Coincidentally, people call me White Lightning because I also finish in under 10 seconds. <laughs> German researchers have recorded the shortest interval of time for an event to begin and end. The event finished so quickly, scientists have named it Che. <laughs> oh, this is fun. An alligator in Florida was photographed swimming with a football in its mouth. Turning now to sports news, Tom Brady is missing. <laughs> A personal injury attorney in Florida allegedly drove her car into four people, said the attorney. Have you been injured in an accident? <laughs> A new lawsuit accuses Burger King of falsely advertising their Whoppers as bigger than what people actually get. It's the same accusation made in the case of women versus Michael Che. <laughs> It was reported that after Morgan Wallen lost his recording contract when he was caught on video using the N-word, sales for his albums rose over a thousand percent, proving my long-held theory that if NBC would just let me say it, the ratings will go up. <laughs> Pope Francis ended a Vatican summit by promising the Catholic Church would confront the clergy sex abuse head on instead of their usual way, face down, ass up. <laughs> A student in Texas, who is nicknamed White Lightning, set a high school record by running the 100-meter dash in 9.98 seconds. Coincidentally, people call me White Lightning because I also finish in under 10 seconds. <laughs> It was reported that more than 400 million pieces of plastic has washed up on a remote island in the Indian Ocean. And for reference, here's what 400 million pieces of plastic looks like. A man... A man in Iran went to the hospital after he got a double-A battery stuck inside his penis. It was double-A because that's the sound he makes when it goes in. Ah, ah. <laughs> experts, say, experts say that by 2026, Disney Plus will surpass Netflix to become the top streaming platform in the world. Not so fast, said Pornhub. <laughs> impressed by all the Ukrainian citizens signing up to defend their country, even the famous ones. Imagine that here. If you ever read on the news Michael Che has joined an American war, we have just lost that war. <laughs> a substitute teacher in North Carolina has resigned after she reportedly told a class of elementary students that Martin Luther King Jr. killed himself. In her defense, he is the one who decided to keep running his mouth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> The nomination fulfills Biden's promise to change the subject. <laughs> you clapped too early. <laughs> Biden chose Jackson after interviewing three finalists this week. Weird, I thought interviewing black candidates was just for show, said the NFL. A woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14-pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. <laughs> It's a math joke. <laughs> but I have a close friend who's Russian, and I asked her what she thought about it, and she said, Michael, you know, pay me to talk, baby. <laughs> but he finds that 11% of American adults are afraid of the dark, especially if that dark is behind them at the ATM. <laughs> In the days after New York Mayor Eric Adams announced a new plan to stop violence in the city's transit system, six people were stabbed on the subway. And I think I speak for all New Yorkers when I say, that sounds pretty low. <laughs> okay, this is not... I'm already so worried. Okay, it says, okay, time out. I refuse to read this last joke, not because it's racist, but because there's a black man holding my cue card. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it says I can't work like this, so Merry Christmas, homeboy, you're fired. <laughs>
Researchers have observed a nearly 60-foot-tall rogue wave off the coast of British Columbia, which is the largest ever recorded. Researchers believe the wave was generated when Yo Mama fell overboard. <laughs> Researchers are testing a new method to treat cancer by injecting the cells with the herpes virus. So good news, if you've ever had sex with me, you might have the cure for cancer. <laughs> Well, we're now at the point where at every press conference, the president's asked, will there be a nuclear war? A journalist asked President Biden if we should be worried about nuclear war, and he said, no, because what's he going to say? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Start digging a bunker, Jack. <laughs> it's Recent polls show that Pete Buttigieg has only 4% support among African Americans, but that'll change once Pete announces his running mate, the Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> Chernobyl is like landing an audition for Harvey Weinstein now. Doctors <laughs> in Iowa have confirmed a dog disease that can be passed on to humans. Fine, I'll wear a condom. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Many analysts were surprised Putin went through with the invasion, even though it was obviously going to be a colossal mistake. But he couldn't back down after all that buildup. Kind of like how NBC still had to go through with airing the Winter Olympics. <laughs> Fans of the hit HBO show Euphoria have been harshly criticizing the series creator for sexualizing the high school characters. Plus, it's just not accurate. I mean, take it from me, no one has sex in high school. <laughs> Don't applaud that much. Well, this week, Russia began their invasion of Ukraine. President Putin launched the attack with support from allies like Belarus and Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Tuesday was National Pig Day, but I told that to a pig and he handcuffed me. <laughs> this is a tough subject to make jokes about. I mean, in my lifetime, I've seen footage of attacks like this on other countries, but never a white one. Oh, <laughs> 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 Rồi xong chìm luôn cái đảo à Thôi nãy giờ cũng hơi mạnh tay Nhẹ nhẹ thôi mình đánh thủy các bạn ạ à. Cui la nãy giờ chết nhiều quá Rồi mất công chạy bệt nữa Đánh thủy đi Ông già, ông già Ok, ok, ông già Sao cái mấy, mấy đốt nảy đi theo mình vậy ta Trời ơi, trời ơi Đánh tôi Ở đâu rồi Đánh tôi Đánh tôi Khỉ nó dễ thương con Gila ha Có hai má hồng hồng Con Gila mặt nhăn quá à Hai bạn ơi, hai bạn đánh um sùm quá Ví dụ mình qua đảo khác mình đánh được không Tôi thích không gian yên tĩnh Ây da, 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 tư chân, tư chân, da, da Các bạn đợi mình xíu tư chân quá 
trong Đâu, nghĩ đâu Rồi, phá ba đảo nữa rồi Đó, giờ ai cướp thiện kìa Ủa Đánh cái mất tiêm khỉ vậy À kìa 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 Thì ra là nó lăn trong cái bụi đó ra ngoài đi em ơi Không có gì, không có gì, không có gì Đây Đi bộ chậm quá Lộn mèo đi Đấy Kiếm con khác Đây, 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 đây. Các bạn thấy khung cảnh lãng mạn không? 